Welcome back to Living 808. It'll mark the first time in six years teams from the Japan Professional Football League and Major League Soccer will compete in Hawaii. A four-team tourney featuring stars from Japan, Canada, and the United States going down this week and this weekend at Aloha Stadium. Here to tell us more about the Pacific Rim Cup event organizer Takahiko Nakamura and Rainbow Wahine star Sarah Lau. Thank you so much for being here with us. Thank Appreciate you. it. Yes. This is a big deal. So tell me a little bit about the event. Sure, it's an international uh, professional soccer tournament at Aloha Stadium where teams from Major League Soccer, Vancouver and Columbus, from Japan also, mm -hmm. Consadore and Iwaki competing at uh, Aloha Stadium. So it's real professional tournament. I was going to say, this is top tier, yes. uh, a top tier event. Um, and there you see the Pacific Rim Cup. Um, why is this important to have this come back to Hawaii? Because it's um, been a while. Right. Um, there's a lot variety of different things we had to clear but it's um, tuned to stay here for many years and it's important because a lot of the to it's going to boost a lot of the tourist tourism business mm -hmm. that would come to watch this event um, you say many years how has this deal been how's, it took six how's years it to bring this back and uh, in the past we had it twice it always stopped in a year so this time we're designing it to have it on an annual basis Okay, Sarah Lau, former Kamehameha state champion and uh, Rainbow Women <coughs> star. How are you involved? Um, well, myself and a good number of my teammates are actually helping as liaisons for um, all of the teams here. And um, some of us are helping set up at the stadium and help hosting the referees. So it's been, we're very appreciative and thankful that we get to be a part of such a big event. And um, right now we're making good connections for our future and... Mm -hmm. um, it's been really good to just be a part of this event. Yeah, tell me what your experience like with the PRC has been. So um, I'm helping out with the Vancouver Whitecaps right now. Um, so we're, I'm technically just a liaison. So we just help with um, whatever they need and pretty much just giving them the um, lowdown on um, the good places to eat and just getting to know the players have been um, really awesome. And um, I'm certainly making connections with the media crew right now and. It's been a really great so far. This is a huge weekend for soccer, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, there's the state tournament, there's the PRC. Um, tell me a little bit about what's happening the day before the tournament starts. There's a huge clinic. Sure. Um, it's the Keiki Soccer Clinic. When we announced it, um, we weren't expecting that much of a reaction, but in 48 hours, it was sold out. It's free, but it was, we reached an, um capacity. It's a, a kids clinic with all the players from the four teams that would coach the kids in front of them at Aloha Stadium. I want to get a little more uh, in detail about the teams. Tell me a little bit about the Japan teams. Sure. Uh, one team is Consadore Sapporo from the J-League First Division. It has uh, Shinji Ono and Junichi Inamoto, the two World Cup star players. Mm -hmm. um, they also played in Europe, um, so they're a big time uh, household name players. And then Iwaki FC is owned and operated by Under Armour, who's the title sponsor of this tournament. And how about Columbia? Tell me a little bit about them. Columbus was the, um, uh, in the playoffs for Major League Soccer yeah. last season, so as Vancouver. Um, so both of them are very competitive and represents well for Major League Soccer. This is a, a, a huge event and, and so good that it's coming back. And I think that your turnout for the Keiki Clinic just shows how important it is for it to come back to Hawaii with so many turning out. Um, and so many interested in it. How can somebody get tickets? Give me a little more information sure. about purchasing tickets. Um, please access the official website PacificRimCup.com. Um, okay. The tickets are made affordable because we want to make sure many people shows up and the tournament could stay for many years. And the, the first matchup, I, I have it here listed, the first matchup is already Vancouver taking on Iwaki, mm -hmm. right? And Columbus taking on Consadole. Yep. And then on f that's on the February 8th and then on February 10th, Loser one, I hate to use the word loser, but <laughs> loser one versus loser two, winner one versus winner two. This is going to be a big, uh, a, a big weekend for soccer all the way around. Thank you guys so much for being with us. Thank you. Yeah. Thank and you thank you for all that you do and <laughs> all of who's involved with you. That's awesome right. stuff. Thank and you. I know your mom's just off camera. She's really <laughs> proud of you. All right, coming up uh, with some weight loss tips, celebrity fads.